Hello everybody, welcome to Blood Bowl Super League. First round, we've got Misspelled Tree with Wood Elves versus K-Fog. However you want to pronounce it, there's lots of ways to pronounce it. But um, let's go with Cole, because that's his real name. Thank you very much, Ali Raider. K-Fog won. I didn't go with Cole, I went with K-Fog. Well, I'll go K-Fog. Um, even though he won the toss, he chose to defend. Fair enough, interesting. He's got a, he's got a block, Ogre. A tackle mighty blow bodyguard, a couple of guards, a couple of dodge, and a leader. So, uh, again, interesting, not what I would do, but um, this is nearly the list that Rick used and did very well at Home Nations with, so that's why Core is using that. And uh, funnily enough, uh, Tree's team is nearly what KFOG would use for Euroball. Um, Traded the extra skill for more money, which gives you three rerolls, and a couple of wrestle, a couple of dodge, a strip dancer, and normally a tackle dancer. But Tree has gone with a frenzy dancer who also has a lot, he's also covered in leaves. I don't know. Is that a default one or is that a special skin? But for some reason, the war dancer is covered in leaves. Brilliant. Um. But yeah, so you know, so almost standard wood elves, almost standard wood elves. I would say standard is would have been tackle and you know calls list because he's the best. It's slightly sad to see you know the best player in the world with knobs rather than wood elves, but you know it's uh, it's great to see K Fog in the league finally. He hasn't been in the league at all, you know. Like we'd had four seasons on Blood Bowl two and Blood Bowl three, and uh, he was never involved. Obviously, I invited him every time because he's a legend. But uh, he's finally now in. Actually, no, I didn't invite him last time. <laughs> I didn't invite him in the first season of Blood Bowl 3 because I went with inviting loads of people from the Season 2 finals to make sure it passed uh, Cyanide's seal of approval for getting the ticket. Um, but, you know, obviously K Fog should have passed that, but you don't know, do you? So I thought I'll go for objective achievements for Season 1 and Season 2. Um, you know, back to inviting kind of anybody, <laughs> anybody if you like. <laughs> A blockless blitz. Oh, rolled a one on the pickup, but there's no real threat from the uh, knobs, is there? Knobs, knobs, knobs. Mighty blow blitz, chain off his ogre. Very nice. <laughs> oh, and then he fails to stand up the ogre, so it was pointless. Putting a bit of contact on here. Is this a catcher? Yeah. It's too dodgy, so we can easily just get away from that. Probably wants to uh, 3D with a tree. Boom. I guess keeping the uh, keeping the ogre dominated is fine, isn't it? Am I going to do a ball transfer here, or just uh, just run up to here? Probably could have, like, yeah, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter where anybody is. There maybe could have been some kind of. Oh, I think we would have gone a bit closer. I think I would have gone a bit closer here. There's no there's no need to keep, like, the gap, right? So we could have maybe brought the ball up to here or something. Whatever we could have got to here. I don't like this disconnect. It doesn't achieve anything. Like, he doesn't have. Uh, K Fog doesn't have, like, a sacking threat, right? Like this would make sense against like other wood elves, um, like kind of how Sea Bros was playing against. Uh, was it Sea Bros? No, Diamed was playing against K Fog in the cup, um, having a big gap. So you you fight with the first bit, and then you're protecting yourself from the wood. You protect yourself from the water, so right by having the ball really far back. But there's no sacking threat. 
from Tearfog, so it's not really achieving a whole lot not having the ball with the rest of the team. Is going to uh, come this double skull is pretty bad here, right? A one in nine is pretty bad, so we're gonna have to re-roll a one in nine. But, uh, beats him off anyway, safely. Doesn't fall. It's not rooted, is it? He's just scared of getting too deep back and not being able to stand up, which is fair. There's an argument for like following just to, you know, make uh, KFOG commit three players to punching and then obviously saving the uh, elves from getting smashed by Mighty Blow. But then I guess KFOG does have a tackle Mighty Blow, so he was doing absolutely nothing. I wonder if it was worth just blitzing the tree anyway, right? Even though even though a tree hadn't followed, um K Fog still just had like a two D blitz on the tree with the block and then seventy five percent of the time. The tree's down, you can get away from it. Maybe. Love the name of uh <laughs> Cause team by the way, Jimmy don't look. <laughs> Nob's definitely not the best team. The problem with Wood Elves in this format is you just don't get the block, do you? So you have to make a fair few blockless blocks. Just going side to side. Oh, that's an early dodge, isn't it? I don't like that. Could it just. I guess he doesn't want to stand this one up. I'd have rather blocked with the uh, Ogre. Maybe he's going to blitz the Ogre free. Whatever it was, he shouldn't have done that dodge first, I don't think. Wait, it was a 4 plus dodge. Was it a misclick? Yeah, so it was a 4 plus dodge. So it's obviously a misclick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> that was... Uh, not good. And now there's a gaping hole. Hello, tree. Thank you very much for taking part, by the way. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this has left a bit of a gaping hole, hasn't it? That is the end of Cole's defence, probably. Hmm. Oh, that was... Just set up the blitz to take out the tackle mighty. Because he's been so devastating so far. And foul him as well. <laughs> I guess he could try and chain the... Uh, he could have tried to chain this guy onto the ball, couldn't he? Wait. Why didn't he? That's a two dice block. That is a simple chain for a 2D block, wasn't it? Oh, is this sidestep? No way. No, that's a lineman with dodge. So just, surely, why, why hasn't he just chained him in? I 
I don't like this at all. Like, and I know, you know, if you chain him in, he pops the ball, and then the elves just pick it up next turn or whatever, and it's like, but this isn't going to work either, is it? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> at least, at least this, like, you know, if you if you hit the ball and you cast the catcher and it could scatter out this way or something, like, something good can happen, but just this turn just leads to, you know, all the elves rolling two pluses with three rolls, and you get nowhere. Crucial 2 plus. Maybe it should have been with this one, right? Because at least this one was tagged. Um, where he was. If you leave this guy untagged, it's a bit better. I guess. I guess where you get to punch him. You could have punched him in the train. Oh, this way you get to punch him as well. Yeah, okay. That's, oh, this is tackle. Okay. Errata, errata. This is a tackle. Errata. Errata. This was definitely the better touch. <laughs> I mean, I guess could have just like positioned better in the first place, right? So that this dodge wasn't critical. Would have been the right answer. The right answer is just don't make this a critical dodge, because if, that, if that's a fail, this guy can come in for a two D. Problem with this is, uh, yeah, the GFI for the 2D with Tackle Mountain. And gets a stun. There. Is it worth greeting hits here? Probably. Probably. In fact, it's getting you the hit on the mighty blow. So the mighty blow tackler is a bit of a a bit of a terror, as you can see by the <laughs> what he's <laughs> what he's done to this Wood Elf team. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> absolute menace. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he could have been, couldn't he? He could have been. So you have got to, uh, you have got to target him as if he can roll well. The old backline disregard for the one turn. I quite like that. Even even versus like good one turning teams, at least it's making them roll some dice, isn't it? Ooh, quick snap. Well, it was good to have this guy off for the quick snap, wasn't it? That's something that uh, I think a lot of people miss when they're setting up for one turns, right? They forget about what happens if you get a quick snap. Because obviously in the old days, you could have set this guy up somewhere else and then used the quick snap to move him forward. Whereas now, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is not that bad. It's it's kind of stupid because it's like, you know, it looks brainless. Like, it looks like, you know, and people want to show the big brain by putting something good to stop pushes and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's hard to roll the pushes, right? Like, it's just literally hard, even if you just give people the two dice blocks to roll the pushes. Um, it, they still go roll a push every time, or three dice even. I guess the, the bad thing about this is it means they can get three dice probably a lot of the time. Um... Like they will here, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Fill these two in. Push him to there. Block him. Push him to there. And then fill in these two and then push him another one. Wait. No. Yeah, because you've got the blitz. Or he could blitz through, couldn't he? He could blitz through. Wait. How, how fast is he? He needs three squares pushed. So the first one, you fill these two. Push him to there. Second one, he blocks. Pushes him to there. And then third one you have to blitz him. Fill this square in. And then the third one you blitz him from there. And then he can get in. But he can't blitz himself through. Yeah. It's a shame that isn't it? I wonder if there's a... If he'd had like another player. Like if this guy wasn't here. And he'd had another player there he could have... Push them. He could have. He could have quick snapped them forward as well, right? So maybe core 
rather than this guy being here, maybe this guy should have been here, and then they could have both quick snapped forward, and then he would have been able to block him to there, then block him to there, and then block him to there with a with a block from this guy who was already there. So I guess this was a mistake. There should have been a player here in case of quick snap, along with your scorer, and they both go forward, fill these two, block him to there, block him to there, fill these two in, block him there, and then he gets to blitz through versus like a catcher, which is incredible, isn't it? So yeah, slight mistake there, like playing for the quick snap. But still, even if like you're not only playing for the quick snap, um, I've noticed people not really set up for it, or, or like a riot. Yeah, there's well enough players, there's loads of players. There's loads of players. There's literally loads of players. Got a full team. Uh, <laughs> but no brain. He's got, he's got a full he's got a full team. Oh, is he gonna push him back? Did he misclick? Okay. So he was gonna push him back to here. Was that his idea? Push him back to there, and then that had to be it, right? Push this guy. And he just pushed him instead. So if you push this... Oh, God. Flipping K-Fog making me think. So if you push him out, can you then push him forward? To, but then you've already used the Blitz anyway, so that doesn't help. So you push him out to there. But it's adding another push fully anyway, so it's, it's got to be wrong. It's got to be wrong. Like, he's got loads of players. This has to be wrong. The right way has to be the way I did it. And this is like it must again. It must be a misclick because he must have been trying to push him to there, and then push him forward, and then push him forward again, right? Like because this just doesn't do anything. No, because then we could not have the players. It was just shit. It was just shit. My, it's just shit. It wasn't. It wasn't trying. It was just absolutely wrong. <laughs> it was just absolutely wrong. Because if you push him back, you haven't got the extra hit to push him forward, have you? You'd have to chain the other guy forward somehow as well. So no, it was just absolute, absolute brain fart. Jimmy, don't look. We didn't. We thought it was because it was he was using Imperial Nobility. It turns out it's because he was going to do horrendous one turns. <laughs> the play was definitely the uh, the blitzer there and, and another player there, and then they both put that forward, and then he could have got through with a blitz through the back line. So one nil down. Honestly, it, like, this is another bad thing about knobs, right? Like, Core, being the best one-turner in the world, should probably use a team that can one-turn, you know, with, like, some modicum of success, right? Like, Wood Elves or Skaven or whatever. Probably shouldn't be using a team that just can't one-turn. Even, even Necros, but then. Sure didn't look like the best one-turner in the world that, that, <laughs> that turn. <laughs> Must have just been an absolute brain fart. I mean, we all do it, don't we? We've got a bit of uh, a bit of twat magneting here. Well, I mean, it's pretty good, isn't it? Right, with block, seventy-five percent, and then fifty-fifty. They don't even stand up. And if if it doesn't stand up, then you can just run away. Yeah, it doesn't stand up. So now I imagine we're going to see a big switch to the side. Leave the uh, leave the tree behind. So yeah, probably blitz blitz this guy or this guy to try and interfere with the side switch as much as you can. You have to just abandon the tree, right? Like, just taking the tree out is too good. Maybe Core shouldn't have gone over this f to the side this far. I should have stayed more central. Oh, I hate this. Hate this. Just get out of the tree. Get out of the way of the tree. 100%. Million percent. Oh, I hate this. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no. Hello Steve. Uh, Devo beat Chunter. But Chunter nearly won. He actually, Chunter got close to winning uh, with six players on defense. <laughs> it was crazy. I really, I really don't like this from, from Cole. Because, uh, you know, it just blitz this guy away and get your tree back involved. Like, you could even... Uh, okay, dodging in isn't so good. But I definitely blitzed him and uh, GFI'd the tree. Would I? Maybe I already just stood it off. I don't know. Having it standing is pretty good, isn't it? Maybe I wouldn't have GFI'd the tree. Yeah. Maybe just standing up is best. And then just screen. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine, isn't it? Seems really weird, though, to go down the side of the pitch where the tree is. Really want to stop the reverse here as like as much as possible, right? As the wood elves, you've got to you've got to stop the reverse. So I guess actually standing up is all right, but you've got to stop the reverse because as long as he's down here and you've got your tree there, you're golden really. He's <laughs> tackling my evil though, just doing nothing. <laughs> Is there a is there a clever play here? I don't think so. I'd want to uh, I'd want to fill these two in and chain the tree to here, but then you can't get the tree onto the ball, sadly. But I'd definitely be blitzing. Uh, I'd have definitely filled these two and blitzed the tree up. Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, that's the thing, isn't it? Hopefully it devastates all of the other elves. Crazy that all three wood elves are in the same half of the draw. I'm not I'm not unhappy that I'm <laughs> that I'm uh, that I'm on the other side of this draw to all the elves, to be honest. No, it's a bit weak, isn't it? The the corner here is a bit weak. Need need a player in here, I think. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yep. Target that guy because he's he's definitely gonna kill you if you don't. Oh, a jump. <laughs> nice. Oh no, fail. And removed. <laughs> but it was still nice to do a jump. Yeah, I'd have just tra I'd have just chained it. I'd have just chained it. In. I'm pretty sure. I maybe move it. The problem is, like, it might just fail to move, right? So I would have probably chained it in. But yeah, at least, at least, yeah, at least try and get it in. I think it was crazy of of core to like go down the side where the tree was. So I would definitely be trying to get the tree involved. Either by chaining it into a block or by. Uh, because like, that's the thing, by chaining it in the block, you get the uh, you get an extra mighty bullet as well, don't you? which is pretty good. This this guy definitely had to be up, right? Being further away from the ball is bad. Oh! Okay. So I guess the idea was to put this, but I don't like that. I would definitely want my player here. And just more like, I don't want more stuff behind the ball, right? But the plan was to blitz this guy. And get a pow. Base the ball! Ball is based! Okay, very aggressive, a very aggressive turn. But there is a, there's a, like a root out now, isn't there? Which... I'm sure Big Kev will be like, this is, oof, yeah, it's the first thing he does, yeah. 
Oh, I don't like that. I just hated this turn. <laughs> hated this turn, yeah. Yeah, I think that was a very bad turn. Very bad turn, yeah. Yep. Maybe like game lose, well not game losing, drive losing turn, right? Yeah, just gave him, gave him this cage. Super advanced, super advanced cage. And while you're still elves. Oof. Stack them up. Probably. Yeah, just leave, leaving that huge gaping hole was, was just too much. Because, like, that's what he's trying to do, right? But once he's in this situation, he wants to get past you, which he'd like. So, just even regardless of going for the ball and everything, just like this guy assisting from here, I just want him assisting here. And I want to keep him corralled 100%. want to keep him... Uh, want to keep him in this thing because you know you want to keep your tree relevant and you want to keep uh you want to keep him pushing pushing uh pushing down that way which is kind of like the wrong way for him right because he's got the tree on him so yeah i would definitely try to chain the tree in or free the tree and move it whatever um but even if you don't like the tree's still there so he's he's just he's so constricted and then yeah you let him off the hook definitely with this uh this thing <laughs> this avenue knobs are dominating they fended on multiple occasions I've never seen <laughs> such incredible not being allowed to follow up things ever absolutely top tier hello Denny <laughs> oh dear blockless block it's a removal. So Cole probably doesn't move his cage here, right? Because it, that way he doesn't have to. Or maybe maybe move it over there, but don't don't activate the ogre for sure. For sure, don't activate the ogre. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And make it guard on cage corners. Yep. 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 And then he can block with the uh, lino. Ooh, okay. I'd have blocked with the Lino to maybe get the POW, and then if I don't get the POW, then I blitz with him. Because if if he blocked with him and got the POW, then this guy could have blitzed him, right? And then he would have had that guy free to move. So a bit of a mistake there from Big Kev, I think. <laughs> they can reroll catches, yeah. <laughs> There's no Dauntless, but they do have catch. And now it's horrible because you can go both ways and it's basically impossible to defend conventionally anymore. Just have to try for a, a leap sack, which is happening. Gets the double pals. <laughs> Outrageous. Oh, wow, that's so cool. I haven't, I've never seen that animation before. The old roly-poly attack. <laughs> Forward roll. The devastating forward roll. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. Well this is uh this is a bit tricky, isn't it? In a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. It's the pow. I guess it's not that much of a pickle because they're all strength too. But woof. It's a cheeky one D. Oh my god, it's a Kaz. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Outrageous. Outrageous. I mean, knobs are pretty OP when they, when they want dice pal things. Yeah, so it, it looked worse than it was because I was looking at players, but yeah, if you realise they're all catches, it actually wasn't. 
as depressing as it looked for Big Care. Oh god. Oh, absolute disaster. Absolute disaster. That's just scoring it. Don't, uh, don't fail. Doesn't fail. And there you go, knobs. Avoid defeat. Four. Amazing result for Cole, <laughs> the best player in the world, messes up a one turn <laughs> and manages to draw with the worst team in the game. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's uh, it's incredible, isn't it? It's actually incredible that Nobs haven't lost every single game. Absolute scenes, you know, they've at least got one draw. One draw and nine losses, looking to be what the uh, what the knobs. No, I'm only joking. They're fine, aren't they? They get they get extra skills and like they're obviously not good. But uh, oh well, Blitz is a good one turn defense. Oh, it's not over. Okay, now it is. <laughs> um, no, it's not. That was that was the Blitz. Yeah, this wasn't a good one turn defense, was it? Because he doesn't have the wait. Okay, I don't... They did have hat stand firm. I thought that guy wasn't stand firm. Oh, because he just hasn't got guard. He just didn't have guard. Right. He didn't have guard. I saw the other two with guard, and he this one doesn't have guard, right? But I, I can still move the thing around, and it is a bodyguard. I thought Dimmy was, was taking the piss when he said amazing one-turn defense. <laughs> I was like, what's happened? But yeah, no, yeah, okay. It was all stand firm in the LOS. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good... The lack of guard threw me. Um, so yeah, you know, look, obviously, obviously knobs aren't as good as other teams, but they do get extra skills, and, you know, Chunter nearly beat Andy with six players on defence. Core did well there, didn't he? Um, apart from the one turn. So, but yeah, it, if Tree had just kept it together on that that one turn with the, the letting through... Um, that's the thing in it. That's the thing, you know. Like he was always gonna, he's always gonna take advantage of that. You've got to be on the ball against Big Kev, and I think you can afford to be passive, right? I don't think you feel like. I, I mean, you have to, you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, Kevog is very—he's not that much better, right? Like this is the thing, you know. Of course, Kevog is, you know, is widely regarded as the number one player in the world. Even if he's not ranked there, on you know, I know Olivier Delac is ranked, has got the number one ranking, but the thing about Core is he's done it on Blood Bowl two, done it on Blood Bowl three, done it on Fumble, and done it on Tabletop. Um, so I have got no issue with people like Dimmy saying that he's better than Jimmy, right? Because it's fair enough. Like it's absolutely fair enough. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue with people's take on that because, oh, better than anyone, right? I think it's 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 basically. Although obviously people are going to have different orderings and different takes and things and stuff, at the end of the day, there's no doubt that Core has the absolute like you know the the highest, the biggest breadth of qualifications if you like right. That, that's the thing he's done. He's done it in every format. No one's done it to the same extent in every format. You know, of course, Olivier Dulac is current number one in the half style right. Of course, Malmir has won about forty seven majors on Fumble. Of course, Cruz won the Chalice like seven times or whatever, and. Uh, Blood Bowl 3, well, no one's really doing anything on Blood Bowl 3. But, uh, when you look, when you think of, about all of the different formats, uh, Core is just an absolute legend, isn't he? So, uh, and he's a lovely fella as well. So it's it's also easier, it's easier to be nicer about him when he's when he's the loveliest fella as well. So, um, but yeah, you know, like, it's it's a disadvantage, obviously. Nobs is a disadvantage. Of course he'd do better with Wood Elves. Like, of course he would, right? And I think Chunter would do better with Skaven as well. But, um, at the end of the day, no one's that much better than anyone else in this. So it's all it's always going to be really close, you know? And, uh, and, you know, even if the best player in Super League 
you know, to play as the worst player in Super League. I don't know who those two players would be, and it wouldn't be that much of a gap anyway. And that's the beauty, I think, of having this uh, this invite-only format with twelve really good players, and uh, you know, even-ish teams. Because obviously, not not all teams are even. <laughs> you know, even with the tiering, knobs are still knobs. But uh, I'm sure you know he'll get some big wins, and so will Chunter. Chunter will probably beat me, of course, just to shut me up. Um, but there you go. Good res good, good game. Uh, GG. Congrats to both T and Cole. And thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.